Today's reaction video is by Dr. No Sleep and it's about not accessing the dark web from a plane. First of all, I've never ever ever accessed a plane Wi-Fi because the prices are ridiculous. I guess if I had a long flight I would do it, but there's gotta be a more productive or entertaining way to spend your time than digging on a Tor browser? from your phone or your laptop from plain internet? I mean, I don't think it would be something that would cause any potential risk IRL, but it's that's definitely an interesting concept. We're gonna figure, the, the, the thumbnail shows a guy freaking out in front of a computer because it's gonna crash. The plane's gonna crash, saying the plane's gonna crash, I don't know. Let's get into it, guys. Dr. No Sleep, make sure to subscribe to him and let's react to this. The year was 2014. Okay. I was on a routine business trip from the United Kingdom to New York City. All right. I boarded the flight and everything was routine. I used routine. to fly often, I didn't I like sat it. down in my seat and was relieved to find out that no one was assigned next to me. That is nice. I had the whole row to myself. Tired from wow. a long day, no I other dozed people? off in my seat. Maybe it was when just I woke an animation up, the plane was already a cruising <laughs> a lot of altitude. Stuff to draw, you know? The seatbelt sign was off. Right. And people were moving about the cabin. Okay. The flight attendants were already serving yeah, food there and they drinks. Are. Feeling oh, refreshed and energized after my short power nap, I decided to open my laptop and get some work done. Yeah. After work? reading and responding to a few emails, uh -huh. I started to get tired again. Sure. Right when I was about to doze off again, I received a notification of a message. All right. Weirdly enough, the message displayed on my command prompt box. This struck me as odd and out of place. Hmm. Hey, are you there? The message read. On a command yes. prompt? Who is this? And how are you talking to me? I asked. <laughs> he continued. Don't worry about any of that right now. I'm about to hack into the plane systems. My what? appetite for power and control is high right now. Okay, so he didn't I want you to be a helpless witness web. to what is about to occur. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I asked. I am talking about controlling the plane systems. With a basic Bluetooth accessible device, you can access the most vulnerable equipment on a plane. Their anti-theft software has not caught up with the times. I am about to make their mistake no evident. No way, the dude. Replied. No way. I thought way. to myself, am I just being pranked? Was this person even on my plane? First of all, they're I didn't know how to, to really handle the situation. Prompt, so you're I decided hacked, to call their bluff. If that's happening. Well, if you can really hack the plane, let's see you try. <laughs> oh, I said, no! I, mean, I thought I don't you'd know never if I'd do that. Let's start with something simple. I don't know. How about the fasten seatbelt sign? It will turn on in three, two, one, zero. As wow. soon as zero displayed across All my right. screen, the fasten seatbelt sign. I'm literally. Came on. I'd be I shook to right get now. Nervous. I'd be I thought to myself, was this shook. guy really controlling the plane? Shortly after the sign came on, there was some turbulence in the air. I figured this guy made a lucky guess and the pilots were the ones to switch the sign on right. due to the incoming bumpiness. <laughs> I responded in the chat. Lucky guess, you just happened to type that when the captain was already planning on switching the seatbelt sign off due to turbulence. Uh -huh. I figured you'd say that. Let's move on to some more interesting equipment. Do you know what the elevator is on a plane? Elevator? No idea, I said back. It is the part of the plane that makes it pitch up and down. I can uh. access and control it any way I'd like. Okay. Well, I've got my peanuts now, and I'm waiting for the show. <laughs> God. I said in a sarcastic manner. This dude you might want to put up just... your tray table right now. Things might get a little messy for you. All of a sudden, the plane dropped. My okay. stomach sank. Fear gripped my whole yet? body. I had a split-second belief that the unknown person was actually manipulating the airplane. That thought faded as soon as the plane leveled out. Right. I'm a frequent flyer, and I've had some bad experiences, so I just chalked this up to severe turbulence. Sure. I still did think it was strange that the plane just started flying smoothly again yeah. all of a sudden. That's In past weird. experiences, after severe turbulence, there are Why still some slight bumps before too? you transition back to smooth flight. I responded. Lucky guess again. <laughs> we just happened to fly in some turbulence. Give me a few minutes, and we will see if you just think it is a lucky wow. guess. Wow. The person's last response didn't sit well with me. Right. I decided to close my laptop and put it away, wanting to forget That's about the conversation the best for a while. Thing. I glanced around the plane's cabin. Everything seemed normal. Before you taught Some him people were a napping. second time. Some were conversating, <laughs> and others were glued to their iPads or iPhones. You're right. Nobody Nothing is seemed freaking out of the out ordinary. Right now. I glanced to my right, across the aisle. I noticed a man typing away on his laptop. Uh. I tried to look for any markings on the device giving away a brand name. There were none. His appearance was also very peculiar. <laughs> he was wearing round spectacles. 
The glasses were dark and non-transparent. This he, hit me as odd, is he because a normally reading glasses are see-through. Is he a terrorist? His whole appearance seemed out of place on an airplane. All right. The flight attendant interrupted my thoughts as she rolled the food cart would up to like me. Would you like something to drink? Would you like eat? anything else to drink, sir? Heck yeah. Yes. <laughs> I would like Captain and Coke. Also, <laughs> did you yeah. think that turbulence Some we had back Coke, there baby. was a bit odd? <laughs> she responded with a chuckle. Oh no, honey. I've experienced way worse. Right. I just thought it was weird how the airplane pitched down and all of a sudden started to fly normal again. I'm a frequent flyer, and it seemed a little odd to me, that's all. Right. I replied. Well, don't worry. I'm sure the captain and Coke will smooth you out. Yeah. She said as she it's handed me true. my drink. <laughs> I took a sip That'll be and $9. placed it down on my tray table. <laughs> I took another glance at the strange Dude, they man overcharged for that the stuff so bad. God. He began typing away on his computer. Uh -huh. I tried to glance at his screen, but it was dark. Okay. He must have had a privacy screen of some kind. Maybe? After taking a few more sips of my drink, I mustered up the courage to open my laptop. The uh -huh. command prompt box was still there with our old messages. Sure. I looked to my right again. The strange man was still typing away. Yeah. As soon as he finished typing, a new message flashed across you my think, screen. You think that's In 30 good? seconds, the plane is going to bank 90 degrees 90 to the right. Degrees? I would highly recommend you finish your Captain and Coke. Wow. I know you are getting a little nervous right that's now. That's him. So I think drinking it would be the best option before it spills That is everywhere. definitely he him. Typed. Blood drained away from my face. This had to be the strange guy across from me. Sure. I reassured myself that this could all be a coincidence. From the seatbelt sign what? to the sudden loss of altitude. Knowing what but your I still drink had a weary is? feeling that he might actually be in some control of the plane. Right. I tried to remain calm and confident in my replies to him. I responded, Yeah, whatever you say, Mr. Plane Hacker. You are just a troll hungry for ah. power. I deal with your kind all the time. Well, you are right about one thing. I am hungry for power, but I am far from just a measly troll. You will soon find if that out if you haven't already. If he's on the plane, he wouldn't crash it. Now I was on edge. Unless he was Was this guy like, really going to bank the plane 90 suicide, degrees to the right? You know? The plane would be nearly inverted. If this guy was the real if deal, he's hungry for this power, next test would prove him right or he wrong. He really would not do We are do almost ready to, to go. Crash it, Three, two, one, zero. Right on cue. The whole airplane banked right. My drink immediately slid off my table. As the plane continued its bank, bags, suitcases, and belongings fell into the overhead compartments. It was absolute chaos. The plane gradually regained control. Wow. My stare darted over at the strange man, and he immediately met my gaze. He gave me a slight smirk and stared back That's, down at his He computer. knows it's him. My heart dropped. Dude. I knew it was this guy controlling the plane. So what does but this what could I do, do about the it? Web, the captain made an <laughs> announcement over the loudspeaker. Ladies and gentlemen, I am really sorry about the inconvenience. The plane seems to have an issue, and we will be turning back and making an emergency landing in wow. Heathrow. Please change your travel plans accordingly. <laughs> I decided to get back on my laptop and send this guy a strong message. Yeah. I typed back. You tell him. You better not do anything else. I know who you are. I will report you to the flight attendants. When we land, the authorities will arrest you. Haha, <laughs> sure. So what are you going to tell them? A crazy man is controlling the airplane on his laptop? I'm sure that will fly with them, <laughs> he replied. This guy was getting under my skin, but he had a point. Who the hell would believe this? Exactly. I knew and I what had to can try you do? Soon Start harassing one of the flight in danger. The, uh, passengers? Another message came through. I've got a good trick coming up. Have you ever been on a flight with an engine failure? Oh, he gosh. asked. Cut this out. You can go to jail for a very, very long time for this. You better not even try, I sternly replied. <laughs> he replied with another countdown sequence. Three, two, one. Zero. As soon as zero displayed on my screen, the left engine spooled down and shut off. Oh now I started gosh, to get mad. The loudspeaker came on again. Ladies and gentlemen, we seem to have lost an engine. <laughs> Not to worry. This plane can fly on one engine with no problem. Right. We will be landing shortly. You... <laughs> I closed my laptop and decided I needed to take some action. Yeah, you I looked back not... at the man and he gave me a larger smirk you than before. Keep this infuriated me. Making... I was going not back going to forth, just sit bro. here and be killed by some weird guy with spectacles on. He's I pressed the power. flight attendant button on the ceiling he above me. A few moments later, the same woman that served me before came to my service. Mm -hmm. Hey, What'd is there a problem? Her? She asked. I tried to keep my voice down so the man across from me wouldn't hear. Yes. I'm afraid the man behind you with the round spectacles on is controlling the plane. It is hard to explain, but he is responsible for the sudden bank and the loss of the engine, I said. I could almost see the amusement in her eyes. Yeah. She wasn't buying it for you a think, second. You think, Sir, are you crazy? I'm sure everything is going How to be hard? okay. <laughs> How that strong did you make that captain and coke, bro? <laughs> 
It is normal for that to happen. The alcohol might have gone to the Anderson. Said, oh my now gosh. I lost it. Yep. I looked past the flight attendant and stared at the man with the spectacles. I raised my hand and pointed at him. While pointing, I yelled, This is the man. He is controlling the airplane. Take his laptop. All Are the evidence is crazy? there. The passengers around me gasped in disbelief. The flight attendant immediately She's called making for a scene now. More flight <laughs> attendants came with zip ties. Sir, we wow. are going to have to detain you. Zip ties? You are a danger to this flight and the rest of the passengers. While being zip tied, I glanced back at the spectacled man. He gave me an even wider grin. I yelled <laughs> at him. Once they found out what you did, you're done. You are going to prison for life. He replied in a deep, creepy voice. Learn to control your alcohol, young one. And laughed at me. <laughs> After we landed, I was wow. treated like a terrorist. Of course. After answering a thousand questions, I was set free. Uh -huh. The authorities never believed me. Of the course man was not. never caught. And I hope no one ever has the same experience on a plane. He wasn't going to crash the plane, though. If he was motivated by power, why would he have risked his own life if he could do stuff like that? He could get money for it, you know? <laughs> anyway, far-fetched story, but it's still freaking cool. Make sure to subscribe to Dr. No Sleep, guys, and a couple other reaction videos that I've done that I think you'll like. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljian signing off. We'll see you next time.